look at this number. 45,783,958. Can you tell in one quick glance if this number is divisible by 12? We can obviously perform division and know for sure, but is there a shorter way? Yes, there is. With the use of divisibility tests, we can quickly find out whether a number is divisible by another number or not. The divisibility tests for most double-digit numbers such as 12, 15 and 25 are based on the divisibility tests of their factors. In order to understand the divisibility test for the number 12, you must know about the rules of the divisibility for the numbers 3 and 4. Why? Because 3 and 4 are factors of 12. Similarly, 5 is the factor of 15 and 25. So we use the divisibility test of 5 to test the divisibility of 15 and 25. Let's see how. Using the divisibility tests for 12, let's find out if 23,436 is divisible by 12. Any number is divisible by 12 if it is divisible by both its factors 3 and 4. Applying the divisibility test of 3, we can see that the sum of the digits of this number is 18. And since 18 is evenly divisible by 3, so is 23,436. Applying the divisibility test of 4, let's check if 23,436 is divisible by 4. We can see that the number formed by the last two digits, 36, is divisible by 4. This means that the original number must also be divisible by 4. Hence, we know that 23,436 is divisible by both 3 and 4. Therefore, it is also divisible by 12. Great! Now, let's learn the divisibility tests for 15 and 25. Just like the divisibility test for 12, any number is divisible by 15 if it is divisible by the factors of 15, which are 3 and 5. Let's understand this in detail with an example. Is 71,235 divisible by 15? First, let's check if this number is divisible by 3. The sum of its digits is 18. Since 18 is divisible by 3, we know that 71,325 is also divisible by 3. Secondly, we can see that this number ends in the digit 5. This means that it is divisible by 5 as well. Since 71,235 is divisible by both factors of 15, we know that it is completely divisible by 15. That was quick, wasn't it? We didn't have to do any long calculations to find out if the number was divisible by 15. Now let's take a look at the divisibility test for another two-digit number, 25. To find out if any number is divisible by 25, we need to carefully look at the number formed by the last two digits of that number. If the number formed by the last two digits is divisible by 25, that means that the entire number is divisible by 25. Is this number completely divisible by 25? The last two digits of 73,450 form the number 50. 50 is divisible by 25, since 25 times 2 is 50. Therefore, if 50 is divisible by 25, then so is 73,450. Wasn't that quick? You should try divisibility tests with your friends. Time for an exercise. Can you tell if 38,640 is divisible by 12, 15 and 25? 
First, let's check if this number is divisible by 12. We'll do this by applying the divisibility tests of 3 and 4 since they are the factors of 12. Is the sum of the digits of this number divisible by 3? The sum adds up to 21 and 21 is divisible by 3. Therefore, the original number, 38,640, is also divisible by 3. Now, is the number formed by the last two digits of this number divisible by 4? Yes, the last two digits make the number 40. Because 4 times 10 equals to 40, we know that 38,640 is divisible by 4. Now we know that this number is divisible by 12 because it is divisible by both of its factors 3 and 4. Good job! Let's move on and find out if 38,640 is divisible by 15. For that, we will check if it is divisible by the factors of 15, which are 3 and 5. We already know that this number is divisible by 3, since the sum of its digits is 21. But is this number divisible by 5? Yes, because the last digit of this number is 0. Therefore, by the rules of divisibility, it is divisible by 5. Since this number is divisible by both of the factors of 15, that is 3 and 5, therefore it is also divisible by 15 itself. Lastly, let's check if this number is divisible by 25. Now, for 38,640 to be divisible by 25, the number formed by the last two digits should also be divisible by 25. The number formed by the last two digits, 40, is not divisible by 25. Thus, we know that the original number is not divisible by 25 either. Thus, this number is divisible by 12 and 15, but not by 25. Great job! For any number to be completely divisible by 12, it must also be divisible by 3 and 4. To find out if a number is evenly divisible by 15, you must check that it is also divisible by its factors 3 and 5. For any number to be completely divisible by 25, the number formed by its last two digits should also be divisible by 25.